brand new Quincy White. It's called Trophies. New name coming out of Southern California. Be on the lookout <laughs> for him. Now I got another artist here that we've been talking about for quite some time, Tracy G. Absolutely, man. Mm -hmm. Say it loud. I listen to his music <laughs> and I go, wait a minute. First time I really got down and sat and thoroughly listened to a lot of his music. I was with a good friend of mine, Regs Morales. Mm. And um, him and I, we swap music a lot. You yeah. know, we talk about, hey, what do you think about this guy? <laughs> you know, what do you think about that guy? And I went to his office, and um, this is about the time, right? Be this was before Hamilton blew up and the Hamilton Project blew up, and we were just talking about great music and great artists. And uh, we started talking about this artist named Sir the Baptist. And he said, what do you know What do you know about Sir the Baptist? I said, I don't know a whole lot, but what I heard made me think. Mm. Um, because, and I'll just share my a little bit about me, my my biggest um, conflict has been in this music business is straddling this fence of um, doing what's right and doing what works. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Mm. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Absolutely, yeah. 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 And, and I couldn't really find ways to express it or talk about it because it's not always popular. Yeah, not you at know? all. And people shut doors and block it, you know, block opportunity. Mm -hmm. And so... You, you, you got to be brave to really put yourself out there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right? And and I I met you through your music because Riggs played your music. I said, damn it, he's saying things the way I wish I knew how to express earlier in the game, mm. but he's not fearful for, of saying it. And his name itself, Sir the Baptist, uh, reminded me, first thing I thought of was John the Baptist. Yeah, of absolutely. You absolutely. know, uh, when I first heard your name. And... A, a truth speaker, you know, someone yeah. who um, didn't hold their tongue, you know. Absolutely, absolutely. And, and so um, I'm I'm honored to have you up here and curious to have you up I'm here. to be up here with y'all. For your debut hey. album, Saint or Sinner, which is out now. Yeah. Please welcome to the show, Sir the Baptist, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for having me, guys. Thank you for having me. I appreciate this. Uh, absolutely. You're a young man who grew up in the church playing playing in a band, and right? Absolutely. My, my dad was a pastor, so... If your dad's the pastor, you got to learn how to do a lot of stuff. <laughs> Sweep the floor, you know, <laughs> fix the pews, uh -huh. sing in a choir, you know, lead service and everything like that. And as a kid, I was just preaching and, and making music. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's what I grew up around. But I knew if I was going to do something with my music, it had to be a mixture of, you know, what I did when I was growing up as a kid. So I tried to focus on that and uh, make a blend between mu music, singing, choir. Mm -hmm. Just a choir boy with maybe mm -hmm. a few lines. That's it. Mm -hmm. I'm just focused on the, the mission. On the mission. What's the mission? Right. The mission is to holistically heal hip hop. We got a lot of stuff that, you know, and when I say hip hop, I'm talking hip hop, the genre, but also where we come from. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a lot of artists that came from like Ray Charles, right. you know, uh, Aretha Franklin, mm -hmm. Michael Jackson, Prince, a lot of people, uh, James Brown, a lot of yeah. people that came from the church. That got demonized when they wanted to do something greater with their voice, mm -hmm. but then when they got out to the to the to the industry, they realized they weren't as as much of a demon as people thought they were. Mm -hmm. So, finding out how to balance what works with you know keeping your worth at the same time, um, they went through a lot of, it, and a lot of people didn't make it. You know, a lot of people ended up killing themselves and and, and doing mm -hmm. drugs and stuff like that. So, mm -hmm. I knew that if I if I came out, I had to say something that was like really important and, and really try to save us from you know our own demise right do you find like one one of my biggest conflicts in hip-hop similar to yours mm -hmm. as well as the church yeah it's the hypocrisy yeah you know what i mean yeah hip-hop we suffer from a lot of hypocrisy we, yeah we say we do things we don't do yeah we say we are ways we're yeah. not like mm -hmm. you know the church we, do the same the thing Talk yeah. to me, man. <laughs> Two horns and a yeah. halo. Talk yeah. to me. Yeah, you know, there has to be a reconnection between spirituality and the streets. And and mm. and and that's how we're gonna get it back is if we marry Malcolm and Martin again. Uh -huh. Because I think that's that's another thing, you know, like it, the intellectuals went with Malcolm and 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 the, the spiritual people went with with Martin. Martin. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So reconnecting the, the community mm -hmm. is the most important thing because that's gonna be able to push us forward and tell us, okay, things that I want to do, I don't just not do them because they say it's wrong in the book because I, I do it and not do it because my spirit tells me that it, yeah. it's not 
you know, like we have to be spirit led and, and, and morals and principles and set new values, set family, love, right. peace, wife, kids, you know, mm -hmm. um, economics. We got a lot to fix in our community. Because mm -hmm. a lot of people are missing batteries in their moral compass for sure. Abs absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's true. That's true. That's true. And, and we and we need it. Yeah. So as I'm hearing you speak and and I'm listening and I'm just starting to pluck out some issues within mm -hmm. hip hop. And to me right now, like the glorification of drug use is yeah. bananas. Yeah. You know, we were always used to hearing about drug pushing kind of being in the forefront. But now yeah. it's like the consumption of it. Yeah. So using um, spirituality to heal the streets. What would you say to someone on a Saturday night? The regular Saturday evening plan is to do Molly and whatever else. Yeah. I mean, you kind of got to look at why they're doing it, you know, okay. like. Then we're not we're not focused on our subconscious enough in in hip hop. If, if actually if I'm if I'm a rapper that talk about something, I'm considered a conscious rapper. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, those rappers that's consuming all the drugs and and rapping all of that stuff, what are they considered? Unconscious. Unconscious, rapper. right? You know what I mean. <laughs> so it's 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 like until until we sort of wake them up and 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 focus on what's the real issue. Like mm -hmm. we need counseling in hip hop. You know, some of our greatest artists are are going crazy right now. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. like, let's take a second and look back for a second. Like, yeah. we, we really need counseling. And, and sometimes black people are the hardest people to get to go to counseling. Right. So, you know. No counselor. Right, 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 right. Unveil right. all my deepest, darkest <laughs> vulnerabilities. That ain't right. happening. You right, know? right. That's you the know? hardest thing. But, yeah. you know, I think hip hop needs that. We, we, we got a lot to talk about. Well, mm -hmm. talking about looking back and consciousness, you know, in the beginning days of, of, of hip hop, it was more conscious. It was about yeah. uh, empowering the community and talking yeah. about things that were affecting, you know, different neighborhoods yeah. and different parts of the uh, United States and so on and so forth. At what point would you say that it started to take a turn where you it was really noticeable that there was too much drug talk, there was too much negativity and de and degrading women and all that sort of stuff? Uh, you know, it, it's kind of to me it was kind of pro a process. You know, we were selling drugs that were given to us to sell first. Mm. That was that was another problem. Yeah. And then we just became the drug users instead of the drug dealers. And and now it's I, I think it's been taking a turn for the worse. Yeah. You know, we just got we got a lot of fixing to do. This is Sir the Baptist. The album is called Saint or Sinner. Uh it's your debut uh album with um it's Atlantic? Yeah. It's, uh, with Atlantic. Atlantic yeah. Um Great talked, Charles, Aretha Franklin. Frankly, the Great, man. Don't yeah. mess this up. <laughs> 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 um I wanna ask you, um, there's a song called God is on her way. Yeah. And um um it, it, man, you and me, I see we're gonna have to hang out, you know. Ah. I, I did the uh, this thing called the uh, Kaya Fest and um mm. in Miami with the Marleys, with the Marley family. Mm. And I made a comment that I said God is a woman. Wow. You know, and I kind of said it in jest, but it's kind of what I believe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right, right. <laughs> you know, and your song, and I, I gave a reason why I thought that, mm -hmm. you know, and your song is called God is on her way. Yeah. It, it, what, that, why did you title it that? Is God a I, woman? I yeah. was I was going through a, a breakup. Like, just, like too much was going on. I was, I was um, becoming an artist that was kind of popular in my city and more cities. And she was just like, nah, I'm good. I'm, I'm fine. Mm -hmm. I went into the booth and I was just like, hey, you know what? God, like, I need you to send me my wife. Mm -hmm. And the reason why is because I don't want to get to the point of stardom mm -hmm. and then try to find somebody that could love me for me. Because they, they would be blinded by all the stuff that they see. Mm -hmm. And I said, hey, you know, just send me a wife. And then when I got in the booth, it just changed. And it was just like, God. You're on your way. Your timing is just that of a woman taking her time and getting dressed. Mm -hmm. And then as I start, every lyric coming out and every piece coming out, I start realizing, hey, you know what? You really got a lot of traits like a beautiful woman. Yeah. And and it, and it really changed my perspective. And and when I found someone, I was just like, wow. I had to tell her, like, yo, you look a lot like God. Ooh. Damn! Jeez, I gotta use that spiritual game. <laughs> 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 the panties no, came down. True. <laughs> no, but it's true. It's true. It's true. Okay, so I'm using that shit. <laughs> is yeah. this woman Brandy? Yeah. yeah. Oh wow! Yeah, okay. I Brandy is the the last genius of the legend era. Mm. Break Why that down. Why do you say that? Yeah. 
um her and 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 Beyonce was like Michael's favorite. Mm-hmm. And then when you go into the studio with her, you realize that the things and how she roam around and she's really a genius. Like she's she'll write her hand right on her hand and then write on the wall. Like she's a genius. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like I'm talking Michael, Whitney, mm-hmm. you know, like and then when you do something wrong in the studio, she's like, Is that how we did it with Quincy? And I'm just like, wait, <laughs> Can't argue that. You know, so I mean, I mean, and, and then outside of that, beautiful. Yeah. Like you realize how beautiful genius is. So beauty, genius, one could be very intimidated. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. By like the intersection of those two. Yeah. So how did you approach her? Uh, <laughs> uh um, I didn't even ask her, can I say that? <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I don't know. You kinda just you kinda let it be. Cause two pieces are coming together and you just as honest as possible. Mm-hmm. And then when you realize that you have the a level of genius, like Jay said, everybody's got their own level of genius. Mm-hmm. When you realize in the genius connector of the two, it doesn't matter what your flesh look like. Mm. It, you know. But the, the the cutest thing I think I ever heard in an interview is I didn't ask her if I can say right. that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, so I don't. Hey, listen, I was homeless two years ago. I'm I'm learning this media thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and like I wake up every morning and I'm trying to learn how to not Google myself. <laughs> You know, stuff like that. Uh-huh. Yeah. So it's kind of weird. Yeah. Uh, what did she say you can talk about? Right. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I can talk about anything. I'm just messing with her. Really. <laughs> so have you proposed since, you know, she is the image of the wife you've asked God for? Yeah, I haven't proposed. Okay. You know, I, that's got to be done right. Yeah. You know, got to, yeah. Mom, I met her mom, daughter, mm-hmm. dad, you know. How you like Ray? Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. He's just like, yo, send me some beats. <laughs> Bray's on the album. That's all you want to talk about. Bray's send on me. the album. He don't want to talk about anything else. He's just like, send me some beats. You got a hundred of them. I'm like, right. come on, bro. I'm going to send you some beats. Well, you produce a lot of your music, too. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. All my music, I, I, I own 98% of everything I write. That's wow. the smart. Your laugh reminiscent of Jay-Z. <laughs> but, but Jay... <laughs> <laughs> but I guess that happens when you hang out with Jay Z. Oh no 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 no! You know, no, 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 no. You know, no. you know I, and I, I I know he put you on a on a tour. Yeah, right. He yeah, put you on a right. date rather. Yeah, like, he put me on a, a few dates um, mm-hmm. after giving me a shot at uh, Made in America. Yeah, and um, I was actually rapping uh, Heaven at Made in America, mm-hmm. and the crowd was screaming Heaven and Heaven, and mm-hmm. it just got louder, and more people came around, and um, as I was performing. Uh, at the one of the smaller stages, and he's just like, "Yo, I gotta go see him." And he had his title people come see me, and then he invited me to do the Barclays. Wow! Yeah. And the and the rest is history. Yeah. Uh, Sir the Baptist is here. <laughs> I'm gonna open up the phone lines. Why don't we go into heaven? All right, eight 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 seven four two three three four five. Bottles popped and it feels like <laughs> window seat to the top. I wanna see my. <laughs> Angel on my on side, my side. Oh, mm. Feels like heaven. <laughs> I might have to get on that background. <laughs> Wait a morning, shade four five. Sir the Baptist, Saint or Sinner. This album is out now. Y'all know how we do, citizens. Anytime we have an artist up here, fairly new, homeless two years ago. Crazy. Homeless for you was sleeping where? Yeah. In my car. I was driving Lyft and, and sleeping in my car. Really? So I was I would drive Lyft, make enough money to fly to LA, to meet with somebody, to fly to New York, to meet with somebody. And in between drives, I would pick up the phone and like call somebody like, hey, you, you like my music? Yo, you rocking with me? Mm-hmm. Yo, can you do this? And my manager and everybody. And I was just like, yo, it's going to work out. But there was enough family members. Like, how I many you got? What, 20 something? 22, 22 <laughs> brothers and sisters. I mean, none of them could lend you money right. or. Yeah, yeah you, know, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Everybody, every, it's 22 of us, and every last one of us is a dreamer. Okay. You know, and that's, it's amazing. So um, now that we're able to start living our dreams and doing what we want to do, um, so no, no, it wasn't. Nobody. No. How did Jay say he discovered you? Uh-huh. Um, 
I, I think it was somebody played him some music. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, because like Tidal is for like family. Yeah. Like they really like, they really like put me on low key. Mm -hmm. Like they spent time with me and like, it was like, yo, how about we do a video? How about like, this is, this is like, that's unknown for a streaming service to be like helping kids do videos and right. stuff. Like they was like r legit in the hood. Like it, what you want to do? Huh. Well, that's the whole you know, backbone mantra of what it is for us, yeah. for artists. It's, yeah. it's to yeah. protect, develop, yeah. you know, and give opportunity and empower artists. Yeah. So it doesn't it doesn't surprise me that title did that or yeah. that he is even aware would be even aware of someone like I was him. I was just surprised that he was willing to take a risk and, and like, you know, put his name next to mine or come take a picture with me or put me on a different show or put me on a Barclays stage. Mm -hmm. Like it was my first arena. Wow. Yeah. And you met Beyonce and shit. Yeah, she, I opened up. I thought I got there opening up for Beyonce and then Beyonce went on before me and then came after us with another set and Lauren Hill was on that set. What in the like, world? Like, yo, it was crazy. I was like, yo, what's going on yeah. right now? Yo, life. Right. <laughs> I was like, yo, what's going on right now? And everybody just like, yo, I know what you, I, you know what? I don't know what's going on. I, I don't, you know, a lot of people have tried to take a stab at spirituality and, and hip-hop but they you know i guess it was still person focus mine mm. is mission focus mission focus you know yeah so like you've heard you know kanye said he did a gospel album but uh -huh. you know it, yeah. it, when it's mission focused it's it's a little different mm -hmm. yeah you know because then it's not about you you're, you're tackling issues like mm -hmm. every song on an album tack tackle an issue well let me ask you about that because mm. one of the songs um i want to say dance with the devil yeah in the beginning, if it's the right song, in the beginning you talk about you saw your sister Mary. Oh no no! That, so that's that, delivering me. I mean, deliver me. Yeah yeah, yeah. My my, my sister, sister my sister uh, was getting beat by my uh, my I guess brother in law at that time, and um, yeah, and my dad didn't say anything because he was like one of the head deacons. I'm like, Dad, come on, like you see this? It's a lot of stuff to go on in the church. You know that I. But the whole to, church knew that she was getting the beat. whole. Yo, she was showing up to church and with black eyes and stuff. Was he yo. the guy she with? Was he on the pulpit at all? Well, no, he was one of the main deacons and, and trustees, so he was keeping the church running. Oh my <laughs> gosh! So was it ever exposed? How did the church deal with it? Because do, no, see, my sister just one day just got him back. <laughs> How so? <laughs> she got him back. Okay. So, <laughs> so you know, right, right, right. And, and, and you know, it, it's it's a lot of things that go on in the church, just as the same in hip hop, mm -hmm. that's not, has not been addressed. You know, we still got full dressed men and, and, and girls in, in swimsuits. Mm -hmm. like that's, we still degrading women. You, um, you were acknowledged for, um, your, um, your efforts in HIV and AIDS awareness, uh -huh. yeah. right? Was yeah. it in Chicago? Where were yeah, you? yeah. Yeah. The, uh, the mayor uh, sent me a letter. I've been walking with my brother for maybe 10 years. Your brother's homosexual? Yeah. What are your thoughts about the church and its lack of acceptance or? Well, growing up, my, my dad wouldn't even let my brother go to church like that mm -hmm. because my brother was gay. Hmm. And the same with hip hop. I'm, I'm telling you, like the church and hip hop's got a lot in common. Yeah. You yeah. know, like, like when you go to gay prides and you don't see major hip hop artists playing, Mm -hmm. or they're not supporting the gay community. I mean, the gay community is spitting your lyrics, bro. Yeah. You don't have to be gay to like be involved in the community and stand up for rights. Like You stand up for LGBT rights the same way you stand up for any other right, fam. Because mm -hmm. when you need some help with your Black Lives Matter, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's a lot of cleaning up we got to do in our community, man. Like mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not even worried about bars and lyrics and stuff like that. Like it's, we got some life healing to do. Some life healing. Yeah, so I'm, I'm serious. I'm just curious. Is there? Have you ever, or would you ever, directly reach out to somebody <clears throat> that you feel maybe stepped over the line with either a lyric, a song, or at, you know something they did in public? At some point, but I don't want to. I don't want to start off doing that because I don't want people to think that I'm using it as some sort of marketing gimmick. Mm. This is mission focused, so I have to. I have to stay on mission. You know, and, and at some point, yeah, I want to be able to be every rapper's hip hop chaplain. Mm -hmm. I want to be the Joe Lowstein of hip hop. When you get out of line and you feel like you need a spiritual leader or somebody to talk to, I'm there to talk to you and smoke with you at the same time. Okay. So, 
<laughs> yeah, could, what is the question that then brings up my question? Right. Marley's son. <laughs> Which is the album, a right. song on the album where you talk about right. smoking blunts. Yeah, yeah. You smoke blunts? Yeah, absolutely. Smoked last night. Wow. Absolutely. Does Brandy smoke with you? Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, media trainer, boy. Media trainer. Oh, oh, no, Jesus. No, 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 I, 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 I told know. you not to mention <laughs> that. So what do you think are God's thoughts on smoking? Brandy's you know what? You know five. what? Uh, I, 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 I never seen anything in the Bible that was against it. You know, okay. and I, and on the album I say my burning bush, uh, you know, it's purple. It's like Moses in the burning bush. Like I feel like when I'm high, I I think of things like I get really cerebral. Mm -hmm. I'm not I'm not I'm not a guy that get high and go. Oh. Mm -hmm. No, when I get high, I want to I want to heal cancer. Mm -hmm. I want to find out how we can change the world. We're writing ideas on the wall, like, yo, what can we do? What can we do? What can we fix? What can we tackle next? Oh, okay. Well, let me just one thing. I'm that high, deep person. And that's why I'm asking this question, because one big thing we have in this room is conspiracy theories. Do mm -hmm. you have any? Yeah, I got a lot of them. Oh, do you I, I, got, I got a lot of them. I, it's just, I try to put mine with reality as well. Like, I remember the first time I found out, like, the Rockefellers wasn't the real Rockefeller. Like it, it blew my freaking mind, because as a kid, like you don't grow up with that, with your history book right next to your your lyrics, and like what do you mean like Rockefeller records? Yeah, or wasn't the real the Rockefeller, Rockefeller the, family. The, the banking family? Yeah, the, the yeah. Powerful, so okay. like that was the the breaking down of economics and hip hop and 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 conspiracy and saw it and it just expanded. But like that's high thoughts though. Let, let me <laughs> ask you, uh, what is? Do you have a conspiracy about Christianity? Yeah, I mean, obviously, that you know, it was given to us. But what I do, I I'm a Christian based given on given to us to do what? Given to uh, African Americans, you know, to uh -huh. teach humility uh -huh. and slavery. Uh -huh. But um, I do believe the facts, though. Like it's oh. impossible for like it's impossible for all of this to be created without a mind. Uh -huh. So I'm praising the mind that's behind the genius of this world. But you do feel like it was almost something to tame absolutely African American Absolute, slaves, absolutely keep them in order. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Religion can be used as a weapon. Yeah, no, it it is. It's mm -hmm. it's it's the greatest tool because it's intangible. Like I I know, listen, I I didn't spend my life in hip hop. I yeah, spent it in the church. Mm -hmm. So I can tell you everything preachers do and spiritual people. They do, you know what I mean? To like to to sun and break up community, families, and everything. Like when when the governor wants to, when the people want votes, where they go? To the church. To the church, fam. Mm -hmm. And I know a lot of people that's done deals. I just go like, yo. You speak on that on prayers on the picket sign mm -hmm. too. You go into that. One of my favorite songs on the album is the wall. Yeah, yeah, you know? <laughs> yeah. Talk about the concept, but what metaphorically? What is the wall? The wall is, I, I thought the wall was just Trump. The wall became everybody in hip hop that wanted me to do anything else but mission. Mm. They were in my way. Mm -hmm. Whether it's, you know, somebody that wants you to do a trap thing or be more trill and then they want you to be more nothing and then it's just like, you in my way. <laughs> Get the hell out of my way. You know yeah. what I mean? So it's like, it's like the wall was that moment where I realized like, you know, Culture vultures and poses, posing tough in the magazine. Like you, the same as Trump. You look like Trump, fam. Yeah. You like if you ain't got this Gucci belt, you ain't the man. You look like Trump, fam. Mm -hmm. And now you got the gold hair too. Ooh. You really look like, like Trump, Trump, fam. Yeah, they got the gold hair. I'm not yo. The golden stop, hair. Stop it, fam. Oh, I got the golden follicle. <laughs> <laughs> you went there. I took the trolley. Oh, you like that? You know God. why I came with it? Yeah, you you know. golden dreadlocks. Yeah. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Right. Well, I'm interested in knowing what are your personal demons that you've had to overcome. A lot, a a lot, mm -hmm. like a lot, like oh, a lot. <laughs> like for example, um, prayers on the picket sign. I, I like from that moment in the album to like deliver me. I didn't believe in myself at all. Mm. Like that, that it, that within itself is a demon of 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 being saying, hey, you know what? I'm just gonna be on public aid. I'm just gonna like, you know, get this. I'm like, you know, like I'm go the this. I'm gonna cut corners. Like that's that's certain things that I did that made me feel like 
I need to suppress my 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 possibilities. Mm -hmm. You know, and then I had moments where I was like dating a bunch of girls and you know and using game and all of this sort of stuff, and then realized I was beating them up emotionally, and my sister was getting beat physically. Mm. There's no difference. There's no difference. Like it, yeah. I've I've had so many things. Um, uh, temptation with girls like yo okay i think she's the one and she's like yo you got to stop doing this mission stuff mm -hmm. you know like y y you have wow. a lot of different things that tackle you when you're when you're going and you're trying to make this happen but Inf infidelity too absolutely yeah absolutely not nah. on brandy no 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 make a hit record about it when you make when you make when you make your when you make your mind up and you realize what it is yeah you change you change yeah um, I'm gonna play uh, prayers on the picket sign, and yeah, then we're gonna come back, man. And I'm gonna ask you to do something, man. You know what I'm gonna ask you to do? Huh? You know. Seven, <laughs> four, or five. Sway in the morning. Okay. He's a nigga now. Wow. Welcome to church in the wild. All right, Sir the Baptist is here. Eight 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 seven four two three three four five. That was prayers on the picket sign off the new album, Saint or Center. Yeah, it's out now. B Wood is in Maryland. Go ahead. B to the. Hey, what's Hey, what's going on, y'all, man? What's going on? Humbling, humbling morning, man. First thing, man, I got to say, like, I'm standing here. I'm, I'm, like, near the Ohio State line. I'm standing outside because, man, you're saying so much. Hmm. You're saying, man, for real, like, you're saying too much. <laughs> I'm just saying all at one time to a lot of people because, man, I'm 31. I'm trying to do it. I'm trying to. I was on the phone with my brother last night for, like, 45 minutes just trying to help him to calm down so he would understand. Yeah. But everybody just it's like you could be talking right to them and they don't understand yeah just recently i went out and bought me like a like i got a new car like a benz big jump and everybody <laughs> is acting a certain way and i just like i got four hundred fifty thousand dollars on the table at this time like i got all i got to do is line things up and close the deal and it's yeah. unbelievable yeah. My neighbor was sitting outside, and I was just staring. He was hey, staring at me. Hey, wood, wood. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, man. Just, just be... keep doing what you're doing, dog. You know, all day. Just keep doing what you're doing, man. And uh, and I'll be praying for you. I'll be praying for hey, you, Hey, man, dog. thank I'll you, man. I'll do the same for you. Sir the Baptist, uh, saint or sinner. Knowledge Born is on the line from Fort Lauderdale. What up, Knowledge Born? Knowledge. Peace, peace. Peace. What's what up, that? morning show? What's that? What's that? What's your question? What, Go what up, Sir the Baptist? Well, shit, man, I really wanted to even just give some uh, some – some critique, or better yet, critique, I guess, uh, compliments to the artist. Um, definitely feeling his uh, music, and I don't want to compare him to anybody, but I definitely would say I get that feeling of uh, early Kanye West, at, you know, and that uh, Anderson Pac type feeling that when you first hear these artists, you can tell, like, man, these people are special, and they're going to really do something, so... Man, I appreciate keep doing that, doing, man. Keep it up, man. I, I definitely like in the sound, and I think you're going to go places with it. I appreciate that, man. Thank I, I, you. I haven't seen Anderson perform in a coffin yet. <laughs> you did that, right? Yeah. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Can we just get to the freestyle? <laughs> what happened? What was that about? The um, coffin? Mo oh, most people from most people. I mean, I was scared. Like I was like, "Yo, I'm I'm not sure I'm gonna make it out of Chicago." Mm -hmm. So once I got a chance to make it out of Chicago for a little bit, I wanted to like stand on top of my coffin, be like, "Yo, I defeated." Defeated that death, huh? Yeah, I I got tears in my eyes, like telling you guys. That. Yeah, that's, yeah. Lil Bibby was here, and he talked about when he left Chicago and went to L.A., and he was scared because of how nice it was and how people treated him differently, and he didn't have to, you know, look look over his shoulder walking down the street and shit yeah. like that. Did you get that same kind of feeling? No, you know, in Chicago, we're so nervous, man. Like, you don't have to be anybody special or, or mad, or people don't like you. People don't have to know you. And you could get shot and killed. That's good. Just what it is, man. Uh, man, we found out a lot today, man. Absolutely. There's so many more questions about these songs. I want to ask them too, but only so much time. Saint or sinner, you must you must walk around with you must have walked around with that conflict for a long time. Yeah, I did. I, I mean, I, I I I I still do in some sort of way, but you know, it's it's a conflict that a lot of people had. Like when I played the record for Stevie, like. Did he say Stevie? Yeah, like, I said Stevie Wonder? Wonder? Did he just turn on us right there? Bro, no, 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 no. It's not. It's not. It's not a stunt. No, it's. It's like. It's like. It's like he. He had a moment of of tears in his eyes when when listening to Heaven. Mm -hmm. He got. He was like, "Yo, I'm, I'm getting teary eyed." Like, you know, this conflict of the greatest minds in music 
came from church mm -hmm. and they dealt with the conflict of saint or sinner and they die with that conflict saint or sinner yeah and you know mm -hmm. you you find you find whitney the way it was it was like she a saint or sinner but yeah michael the way he was was he a saint or sinner prince the greatest, the greatest, come from this that that this background. So it's the most conflict. You you break you you're broken. What are, what are your thoughts about fame? To me, I think fame is more powerful than drugs. Yeah, my girls say beat it. Don't 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 deal with fame. Beat it. Mm -hmm. So that's what I got to do. That's what Brandy says. Yeah, she would know. She would know. She's, She's been, been fine. She's been famous since, <laughs> yeah. since, since a kid. Yeah. I want to be down. <laughs> He's <laughs> singing the song. Do y'all sing those songs at right. home, man? Come on. You don't sing uh, the whole songs with her? Yeah, yeah. And, and I get a chance to I, I get a chance to listen to him. You know, she sing them around, around wherever we are. That's what's up. I was just going to ask, do you believe in the Illuminati? To a certain degree. I believe that there is uh, empowered people that um, are, are trying to put things into our culture. Mm -hmm. Do I think they're all a part of one group? No. I believe they are, they're, they're taking turns on, on, on us. We, 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 we got you here. Two things you have to do before you leave. Okay. Okay. DJ Wonder is standing behind those turntables for a reason. I want you to get your mind right for that. Okay. Before <laughs> we do that, though, we had this thing for first-time guests. Okay. And it's called the Mystery Sack. Oh, Lord. Go ahead and reach in. Dig deep, dig deep. <laughs> Put your hands into Sway's sack. That sounds gross. <laughs> it's Sway's mystery Stay sack. Stay in the center, brother. Stay in the center. Don't really touch my sack, sir. Oh, All boy. Right. Be careful. Come okay, on, okay. so here's the deal. You're going to have three questions. Choose one at a time. Read aloud and answer truthfully. That's that's out loud, uh, which of the seven deadly sins tempts you the most? I don't, I don't know. Um, Can you name some? We have. Me? Well, I just learned from the movie Lust, uh, Gluttony, Gluttony, uh, 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 Anger. Yeah, and, uh, <laughs> maybe anger. Okay. I don't know. Anger. Yeah, I still got a little hood in me. Like hey. paparazzi took a picture of me the other day, and I felt like Africa. It's like, yo, what's going on? I like, know. Yeah, I was like, nah. It's like, what are you doing? Okay. And so I'm still, you know, from the I'm still from the hood. Sorry. Vanity. Too. Yeah. Oh, vanity. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Have you ever gotten into a disagreement with a religious teacher? Absolutely, all the time. Give all the time. Give me an example. One. Um, like, uh, I did a song called Creflo Dollar," mm. and and. Uh, <laughs> I got a few calls from that. <laughs> did you get one from Creflo Dollar? No, nah, well, his people. Yeah. What did they, what they, what they talk they, about? They were just like, yo, we, we don't want to, you know, we don't want to deal with the way you're approaching, you know, the situation of, of bringing out. Because my beef will never be with, you see me beefing with a rapper, laugh. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to beef with people that I, that's in my lane. Creflo Dollar. What did you say in the song Creflo Dollar? Um, I just I just said that we was taking our, our our mind off the mission. We was focused on money. Jesus said when they asked Jesus about money and current and, and money, he, he said that which is Caesar give to Caesar, that which is God give to God. He was really saying give the money to whoever you're supposed to do your thing with, uh -huh. but you you give your body, your life to God. Mm. Okay, so we're a little question. off course. Yeah. Okay. Final one. Did y'all ever talk about it, you and Creflo Dollar? No. Oh, <laughs> you will soon. Exactly. <laughs> right, 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 right. What's the last thing you needed God's forgiveness for? <laughs> um. Jeez, I, I, I want to, I wanted God to give me like more than God's forgiveness. I want God to give me like the power to forgive myself, because mm. I went through this like I went through this point to where Saint or Sinner literally had me stressing and, and 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 like about to pass out and about to run in the street it was it was bad oh wow yeah do you do you um like you could go to do you have you been to strip clubs and yeah you know, absolutely you know, yeah, you know, yeah. So yeah. you, okay. you yeah. made it rain too no 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 no, no. <laughs> did you part the red ass cheeks no no <laughs> i come from bronzeville in chicago and, and we we don't do that economics is is it's tight is, yeah i don't make it rain you no. gotta understand economics and that's that, that's just not you know, that's not good stewardship. Okay. All right. The church. How does the church feel about you? Oh, they don't like me. 
Oh, oh, damn. But I'm, I'm meant to break rules for him. You know what I mean? And that's, that's what I'm supposed to do. You're not supposed to like me. When Jesus went to church, he turned over the tables. I'm just trying to do Gangster. what? I'm just trying to do the same. Trying to do the same. Sir the Baptist, man. Well, we like you here. <laughs> My man, thank you. Know, you. So, so, <laughs> thank much, you. So, so much so <laughs> that uh, you're talented, man. You sing, you rap, you do whatever it takes to push the movement forward, man. I, I was hoping you could do a little for us live here today. Yeah. Yeah, let's mess around. Let's do it, Wonder. You are now entering the five fingers of death. DJ Wonder plays five unique beats meant to test your lyrical stamina. I saw the look in his eyes. This guy's crazy. Many have tried. I'm the best. This is just another chance for me to prove it. But many have failed. Give me some hip hop. <laughs> it's the five fingers of death. This was designed for those who are truly anointed. <laughs> <laughs> Five different beats. What you do with them is up to you. Ain't no rules to it. Matter of fact, break the rules. Sir the Baptist, sway in the morning. Uh. Uh. Can you turn the beat? Uh. There we go. What's the difference between a hundred dollar and a dollar bill? Not the ink, not the paper. That's real. That's why I need. Been in to seeking the face up. God to get to George, I need my bills for the face up. Is this why you lace up to go and punch the clock? You fight in time, the more you win, the more you won't stop. That's why the rich is suicidal and the poor keep they dukes up. Pack a crowd, pack you out, you still a fucking loser. Paper get low, you do the best you know. Oh, work the block, I mean, like all night. Back to back, packing back and forth, try trapping on those fours, you can get your money so right. And that don't make it right. And that don't make it good Just cause you need your lights don't mean cut them off in the hood If lights on top of hoods catch you up to no good Just pray that death will bring you an angel that look like shoe You tried that good living, want that good living Drug dealing, seems so fucking appealing Look how they be flexing, make you wanna give in Enough to make a grown man get stuck up in the kitchen cook, cook, Cooking up that soda, bagging on the sofa Sell it to some crackheads and see you loosen up bro. Bleeding, hold your nose up Needles make your arms tough Between the good lord and luck you on your way to church like I'm on my way to church like I'm on my way to church like Sir the Baptist Weeping all night but I got sway in the morning right Right uh I'm on my way to church like I'm on my way to church like Shape for five You've been weeping all night but you got morning in the morning right Yo 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 uh Ooh, I like beat. that. I like yeah. that. It's gonna do with that, okay. sir. The Baptist uh. last beat. Uh. I remember when I found out the Rockefeller wasn't the real Rockefeller. They got it better. They got that oil in their blood. That's the rich life, and we just trying to get it right. Uh. Mama say you got a call and you need to answer the call. It's Jesus on the main line. Go ahead, tell him what you want. I need a line. Drop a line like whole Black album. I need something like Pac mix with Andre 3000. I need that verse that'll match that 316. Sway say, give me your verse. I got 316s. Me. Sir the Baptist, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Gotta put them to that test, hey, baby. Hey, hey, homelessness to get here is 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 perfect. You guys have made my life. Thank wow. you for this. Like seriously, I've I've watched you, I've watched you guys all the time and used to dream to be up here. So wow, man, listen, man, uh, for us to be a part of your movement, man, I appreciate that. I, we appreciate that. That acceptance making us a part of your movement. <laughs> this is the movement that I'm. I'm uh, I'm fully invested in. Mm-hmm. Man, thank you. Always have been. Thank mentally, you. spiritually. Thank you, man. And physically. Thank you. We just need more speakers out there on the front line. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. Sir the Baptist, the truth. Woo-hoo! Saint yeah. or sinner. Yeah. Only the anointed could get through the five fingers of death. <laughs> <laughs> it's just true. We're going to end, man. Uh, we, You know, Riggs played us Raising Hell last year. I mean, mm-hmm. Raising Hell last year. Mm-hmm. You know, and we played it on our A&R room. Yeah. Uh, but I want to end with the wall. Yeah. Okay. The wall is special. Give out your social media if people want to continue the conversation. Yo, this is Sir the Baptist. I'm at Sir the Baptist. Um, SirTheBaptist.com. My number is 213 213- Nine 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 seven zero four nine. Text me, like, tell me what you think about the album. Wait, wait, wait. Call number, me. What's your number again? Two one three nine 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 seven zero four nine. 
Does Brandy know you're giving out your number? Line? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, she want me to get a new phone. <laughs> I you know? think you should all through the night. Yeah, you're, yeah. Getting, you're getting tip picks yeah. and all that. Yeah. I already know what's going on. I don't, I, don't, I don't get. I don't get that. But if I got that, she would definitely like the moment of like, yo, and I, I, and, and you know, you need that though. That's what you need. No, yeah. you. Oh. <laughs> Wait, wait, bro. No, I'm trouble. You. That's what he left off at. I don't know. No, you need, you need, you need a girl that's gonna be like, nah, bro. Right. That's the one. That's yeah. the Come one that on. help you. You help you. Yeah. And then the the last, if Heather B was here, she couldn't be with us today. Uh, she would have loved you. Mm -hmm. uh, she would tell you, don't do a reality show. Oh yeah. That's been breaking up more relationships. Than, oh no, no, we good than on side that. chicks. You yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> Facts. Reality show, T.I. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, no, nah, I'm not. I'm, 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 I'm good. I'm, my, my reality is too boring. Like, they wouldn't want to follow me. Okay. Mm. My oh. reality is, like, literally, it looked like some like some mission too focused on on the culture type stuff. It's yeah, but boring. they'll write some That's what dramatic. I'm saying. Yeah, Brandy and Ray do the reality show. Yeah, I'm good on that. Okay, there you go. Sir the Baptist, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. That. We got getting the game up next <laughs> way in the morning. No, no, we're not doing that no more. It's Thursday, bro. Oh, Stop shit. Wonder. Oh, 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 we got to stop Wonder. No, no we're not doing that either. <laughs> Karen Parsons no, next. What we got next? Oh. Karen Parsons. You know who Karen Parsons is? No. <laughs> Hillary from Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hillary, Hillary from the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. This is The Wall. Get the album. Say the center. Sir the Baptist. <laughs> and when they try to warn us, we going to shout. It's Sway in the Morning, only on Shea 45. <laughs> Kilo. Kilo.